body bags were whore lies. What's up, everybody? Welcome to week 110 here on Body Bags. I am your host, Mood616, and thank you once again for stopping in, guys. Yeah, week 110 is here, and I've got another review for y'all on this Sunday. And this one right here is coming courtesy of Screen Factory slash IFC. Uh, it's a film I knew very, very little about. And like I always say in the past, you know, a lot of these Screen Factory slash IFC releases are very hit and miss. There's some good ones, there's some bad ones, there's some kind of mediocre. So you never really know what you're going to get with this one. Uh, this one actually did catch my attention because it's from the writer of uh, the uh, uh, film Aftershock. Uh, of course, Eli Ross Knock Knock and Eli Ross uh, Green Inferno. He actually wrote these films, but this is a directorial, not really debut, but um, uh, he's a Chilean director by the name of Gilmero. And Demio, I don't know, I'm probably butchering the hell out of that, from 2014, released on media in 2015, and it goes by the name of The Stranger, of course, uh, presented by Eli Roth. Uh, so yeah, so this one right here, you know, had enough credentials already kind of linked to it that, you know, was catching my attention and stuff, so wanted to check it out, but uh, basically the premise of this film here is, it's about a guy named Martin. He uh, kind of randomly shows up in this, well, random American city. Uh, to, and he's seeking out his wife. Uh, her name is Anna. So he shows up at this apartment where he, you know, he last knew that she lived, and um, you know he meets a, you know, a teenage boy there. And the teenage boy says, "Well, Anna doesn't live there anymore." And he goes, basically, he tells Martin that he'll go with him to show him where she is now, and that is the cemetery. Yeah, she's been dead for a couple years, and this kind of sets Martin into, or into like a major depression kind of thing. And he's like, "Well, shit, man." So you know, the boy goes, well, he doesn't really leave, but uh, he kind of goes, Martin goes off on his own, and uh, he decides, well, shit, man, you know, since she's dead, you know, um, I have no reason to live anymore, because what his intentions were, were, were to actually show up there and kill Anna, well, since she's dead, he might as well die too, so he sits in the park, and he's ready to, you know, kind of off himself, anyways, he gets attacked by these random kind of local thugs, who basically attack him and leave him for dead, um, but, and they think they kill Martin, uh, he doesn't die, uh, the young boy that actually witnesses this attack, and he takes him back to his house where, you know, some things are, you know, slowly kind of revealed and things like that, and then it kind of sets off this major chain reaction of events in the city where, you know, people are kind of getting involved with what happens, like, you know, the main thug's father is actually the lieutenant police officer of the town, and he's all corrupt and stuff like that, and all these kind of things kind of go down and um yeah so now i'll just leave it right there um my thoughts on this one now this is a really hard film to talk about without giving anything away uh you, it's one of these type of films where you know you kind of have an idea what is going on but at the same time you don't want to say it because you don't want to you know be wrong or whatever um but uh yeah it's one of those type of films it's just hard to talk about because you don't want to give away anything, you know, like I said, so it's, um, it's a tough one, but I will say this is a very type slow burn film. Uh, it's a Chilean film that's actually shot in English, so the acting in the film is actually hard to kind of, you know, to kind of take a little bit because there is dubbing. There's dubbing on the voices, and I think some of the voices don't actually match up as well as they should with, you know, the, the actors and stuff like that. Um, it's not a big problem though. It's not as bad as some, you know, overdubbing and things like that. But you know, you, you notice that right away. So the acting is hard to kind of, um, kind of, you know, rate, you know. Uh, but you have that, you know, and I really do think that the, the film is shot brilliantly. You know, it's got a really good type atmosphere, a very nice slow burn atmosphere to the film. There's a lot of good locations and set pieces that are used in this film. And, you know, kind of helps add to the build up and stuff. I like Martin. I like the main character in this film. You know, he has an agenda, and now that he's kind of been exposed, and the thing with Martin is that you know he wants to kill his wife because she possesses the same type of problem that he has, and you know he has this weird skin skin disease that you know makes him actually you know addicted to blood, to human blood, and stuff like that. So the thing is, it's very, very you know, it's it can be spread like wildfire. 
So, you know, he figures that he's kind of rolls back into town and he needs to kill her off before it kind of spreads and stuff like that. Where there is a major plot hole because in the film, you know, you don't know what this timeline is. And it's like, well, it was he was obviously gone for years, but you don't know how much time. And now why is he just showing up to kill his wife because, you know, of this problem. Um, so there is some pro plot holes in the film. I will say there's a lot of badass and, you know, characters in this film that you just fucking hate. And, like, you know, the main lieutenant in the film, he's just somebody you just absolutely hate. You hate his son and things like that. But it, it has this kind of potential in the film that you really want to get to the end and see what it's actually all about is to see if your predictions are right. Um, you know, slow burn films are my type of thing. I really do like these type of films. And there is points in this film that actually kind of make me feel like it's, you know, it's near darkish without, you know, kind of you know, giving spoilers or anything, but it kind of has that type of feel to it. There's things that are set on the road and uh, it just kind of has that type of travel feel to it. Um, but uh, overall, I thought it was actually a pretty decent film. It's not a masterpiece by any means. It's not a bad film. Um, I think the, the third act kind of plays out the way it was expected to play out. It's kind of predictable in a way. And, you know, in this one, it didn't really hurt the film a whole lot to me because I wasn't entirely sure what was going on uh, 100%, but you know, your, you know, my predictions were there. Uh, so, but with that said though, it was actually not a bad film. It's just a really, really hard film to, to talk about um, without giving anything away once again. Um, but not a bad film though. If I had to rate this one, I'd probably give it, you know, a solid six and a half out of 10. Nothing brilliant not too bad you know it has some decent music in this one it has um, some pretty decent gore and blood actually I was quite impressed actually by it um, but uh, it just kind of has this subtle kind of off beat feel to the film and uh, it's it's not your average type uh, genre film you know from this genre that it is um, so you know with that said I do recommend this I do recommend it. six and a half out of ten Give it a watch, you know, it's definitely, you know, on the better side of, the, side of these Scream Factory IFC releases. Um, but yeah, you know, and I do really like this, you know, this one of course comes with a slipcover, but it comes with the alternate cover art too, if you can see that. Uh, that looks pretty cool, but um, yeah, you know, this is one that I'll watch later down the road, maybe I'll get a better appreciation for it, but right now, 6.5 out of 10, not a bad film, definitely give it a shot. Yeah, so... The Stranger, like I said, it is just one of those films you just can't say really anything about, and it is what it is, man. So that's going to do it for 100, week 110 here on Body Bags. Check you guys next week in week uh, 111. Yeah. See you then. Peace out, homies.